Welcome back. The new Netflix documentary, Return to Space, gives an inside look at the historic SpaceX mission, which launched two astronauts on a commercial aircraft into orbit in May of 2020. Our Inside South Florida correspondent, Miriam Tapia, chats with Doug Hurley, one of the astronauts aboard that flight, where he talks about working with Elon Musk. Plus, he gives a bold prediction as to whether or not human life will become multiplanetary in the next decade. Watch. Earth is the cradle of humanity, but you cannot stay in the cradle forever. Demonstration Mission 2 is going to be the first time a commercially built spacecraft will launch people to the space station. We'll launch American astronauts from American soil for the first time in nine years. Good morning, Doug and Karen. It's such a pleasure to have you on Inside South Florida this morning. How are both of you doing? Good morning. Doing great. Yeah. Glad to be with you. Yeah, you know, it's such an honor to speak with both of you because this documentary literally left me speechless. It's so beautiful. You know, I was a fan of, you know, NASA growing up. I thought I knew everything. I, with the documentary, I don't, apparently. There's so much that takes um, behind the scenes to making all of this awesome stuff happen. Doug, I'm going to start with you. 21 years in service. Tell me, how was it working with Elon Musk throughout this awesome journey? Well, uh, working, you know, it, it's all about the people. And, and we made some just wonderful friendships that will last for a lifetime uh, with the people of SpaceX, you know, the many, many, many people that we worked with over the, I don't know, five, six years that we were heavily involved. And, you know, Elon certainly was is part of that. We got to know him fairly well. Uh, initially, but really it came together the last couple of years um, when we were getting ready to go fly. But yeah, just uh, a, an incredible experience. Uh, but really, as, as I think the film captures, you know, it's all about the people. It really is. You know, it's so interesting, right? Because in the two hours watching the documentary, we're seeing a side of Elon that I think nobody has seen, right? It's, this film is kind of, the documentary is is humanizing him. And Karen, for you, it's very interesting to see your partner seeing go up in space because you're, you've done that, right? You're an astronaut. Tell me some of the emotions that go through you when you see this type of launch. It should be, I'm sure it's different, but the same, right? It's actually totally different than when you're in the rocket yourself. Um, when, when, when you're the crew member, it's very, you know, I noticed I would get a little anxious, kind of like a Christmas morning type anxious, excited, um, but not nervous, not. Now watching him go, um, especially with my son there with me, is actually pretty nerve wracking. <laughs> um, you know, I was squeezing Jack pretty tight um, in the countdown. Um, and then, you know, of course, we once the rocket was off the pad, we we started celebrating, knowing still he still had another eight minutes of, of a very risky ride into space. Um, but it's definitely a lot harder watching than being the one in the capsule. The work requires a lot of dedication, a lot of focus, and always a lot of risk. There's a part of you that can't let go of that, hopefully, irrational fear that something could go wrong. It feels like there's like 10 year increments to this, right? It's back early in 2000, Elon and SpaceX worked on Falcon 9. Then the shuttle, the last shuttle launched in 2011, right? Then nine, 10 years later, we're back here, SpaceX, we're back on, on in space. Where do you think 10 years from now, NASA, SpaceX go from here? Yeah, uh, great question. I think certainly we'll have a presence on the moon by then. You know, and I think Elon's going to be part of that. SpaceX will be part of that. And um, hopefully starting to lay the groundwork for a mission to Mars, a human mission to Mars. And um, and then I think the other part of it is this economy in low Earth orbit, suborbital flights, more people getting into space uh, in 10 years. You know, I was talking about this before. It's just I'm amazed at how far we we've come from the first commercial private company, commercial resupply flight to the International Space Station. And now two years after the first human flight on a commercial vehicle where we are, just in two years. Yeah, And, and it, it is, it's amazing. But you know, for me, um, and I think for Karen, the more people that get to space, the better off we'll be as humanity because we get a better appreciation of our planet. But also, you know, personally, you know, Establish, establishing a presence 
back on the moon is really important to me. I wish it was something that had happened prior to now, but it, it's going to happen. To be out there among the stars, yeah. I find that incredibly exciting. That makes me glad to be alive. Yeah.